Hey everybody, it's Eric from the Retail Archaeology channel, and I feel the need, the need to go look for some cool stuff at Goodwill. All right, on to our first Goodwill location. Um, before we get started real quick, I do need to mention this video is actually sponsored by Goodwill of Central and Northern Arizona, and if you want to find out more information about them, I'll have a link to their website down in the description below. Now, this first location that I visited was on a Saturday, and it was one of the half-price Saturdays, so it was really busy, and uh, I was kind of skeptical that I was going to find anything, but I did, which was cool. Um, something I wanted to point out to you real quick is this is something that's really aggravating. If you're shopping at Goodwill, don't do this. Don't sit down in front of a rack of like DVDs and books and just block the whole thing. That's, that's really aggravating. Um, but once this lady got out of the way, I was able to find this uh, Blockbuster exclusive Xbox game, Freestyle Street Soccer, which was pretty cool. Like I like Blockbuster and rental stuff, so I was pretty happy to find this. And then, uh, do you remember the starting lineup? <laughs> I have to times find these at Goodwill Sealed. It was pretty funny to find this. And uh, I also saw this, and at first I thought it was somebody's like drink cup or something they just left there, like garbage. But no, it was actually a Scrabble game, which was kind of interesting and not garbage. And then over here, we found uh, Justin Timberlake, an InSync collectible doll. And funnily enough, I find these at Goodwill quite a bit too, like InSync collectible stuff. There must have been a ton of this merch produced uh, way back in the day. And uh, yeah, there's his ramen hair. And here's something else interesting I found. This seemed to be some sort of cassette tape duplicator. This is the kind of thing like I was almost tempted to get, except for I have no use for it. This is the kind of thing that I'm sure somebody's going to be happy to find. Now on to the second Goodwill location, and this is actually one that I don't go to a lot. But uh, right in the case, I saw some interesting things. There was a, a Nintendo Wii there, but not one that I need to have three of those already laying around. Um, however, they did have this PS1 console, and I was tempted to get that, but um, it didn't have the power cable, so I just left it. I did, however, find heavy gear for the PC, which I didn't have and was interested in getting, so I grabbed that. And then I found NHL Faceoff 99 for the PlayStation, and I also grabbed that close-up USA thing, but we'll take a closer look at that in a second. And then here's Austin Powers Pinball for the PlayStation. I love uh, video pinball games, so for $1.99, I'm going to grab that for sure. I always like to be really thorough and look through all the CDs, even at the Goodwills that usually do a pretty good job of keeping the video game separated, because I still sometimes find stuff in here. It always pays to be really thorough when you're thrifting. For example, look what I found here. Vagrant Story for the PlayStation 1. This is a game I've had my eye on for for a while. And uh, it's only $1.99, which is a really good deal for that game, even if it is only just the disc. So, definitely going to pick that up as well. Here's some more games over with the DVDs. And here's uh, Sonic Mega Collection Plus for the Xbox. I'm collecting for the original Xbox, so I'm going to grab that. And uh, here's uh, Odd World Munch's Odyssey for the Xbox. That's an Xbox exclusive that I don't have, so I'm going to grab it as well. That's not a bad price for it. some in other interesting uh, Xbox games, PlayStation 2 games, nothing that I need, but um, I'm definitely starting to see more and more of them at Goodwill stores. Now here's a closer look at that map thing that I was talking about earlier. Um, when I opened this up and saw what it was, I was actually really excited because it was just kind of really pretty to look at. It's big maps of all the different states. It's from National Geographic and they're really thick and high quality paper it almost feels like fabric like cloth and uh this would just make amazing artwork to frame i'm, I'm not sure what i'm going to do with this yet but it was only a few dollars and definitely worth it 
Now I also like to look at the VHS tapes while I'm at Goodwill, and that was kind of an interesting collection there, Homeward Bound 1 and 2. I was tempted to grab that. And uh, that Black Diamond, the classic things, um, that's become kind of a big deal, or it was a big deal, which is really silly, but for a while, um, Disney VHS tapes that have that Black Diamond, the classics thing on it, were selling for um, a lot of money, but they're not worth it. As you can see, there's a, there's a ton of them here, so... Um, if you're interested, just Google uh, Disney, you know, VHS Black Diamond, and you'll see what all the hoopla was about. It's all blown over now, but it's just kind of an interesting story. Now, here's something I didn't know existed. I was familiar with the first two American Tale movies, but I didn't know that they made more. Um, and to be honest with you, these don't look like they're very good. They look like cash grabs, but they were just interesting to see. I kind of chuckled a little bit. And right there are some of those, uh, they're actually records. They're like read-along record books. And uh, look at that, Schoolhouse Rocks. I was kind of tempted to grab those, and I'm kind of sad that I didn't. Because I do collect VHS tapes, but I just don't have a lot of room, so I have to be picky-choosy. Here's another funny one, the Babysitter's Club video. That, that would probably be pretty funny to watch, but again, I don't have room for it. Now, this is footage of some stuff I found at another Goodwill location. Unfortunately, most of the footage I shot was actually corrupted, but I did have this. Uh, I found Dragon Warrior 2, and I actually grabbed that because I know that price looks a little scary, but that color tag was actually half off that day. And then I also had a good chuckle at the fingerlings because moms were beating the crap at each other at Walmart and Target to get those for their kids for Christmas, and here they are just a few months later for a few dollars at Goodwill. Now off to another Goodwill location. And this is actually one of my favorite Goodwill stores. And there was quite a bit of stuff in the case, including a copy of uh, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, but it looks like that was actually sold already. And then there was also this really interesting uh, FC pocket, like Famiclone pocket system that had like 600 built-in games. I was tempted to grab that, but I, I didn't need it. I have enough clone systems already. And then they had some, you know, PlayStation 2s, uh, Wii's, Xboxes. And then I went over and looked at the art, and there wasn't really anything interesting except for this. I had a good laugh at this. I have no idea who any of these people are, but they sure look proud of themselves at whatever was going on there. And then I went over to the DVDs and stuff to look at games, and there was some, you know, decent PlayStation 1 and 2 games there. Nothing spectacular. And a lot of the usual suspects as far as Wii games that you see at Goodwill lately. I did have a good chuckle at uh, Seen It Twilight Edition for the Wii. I, I can't imagine how bad that is. And of course, Wii Fit, which I don't need. And then here's uh, some fair, okay Xbox 360 stuff and PC stuff. And then lots of um, older, like early 2000s PC games and stuff, but nothing I really needed. But I do um, like a lot of this stuff, and I do have a lot of it in my collection. Which is why I didn't need any of this. And there's Far Cry 2. And then there was a whole bunch of old issues of Shonen Jump down here. Uh, manga issues. This was kind of interesting. They were like two bucks each, and I was kind of tempted to grab this actually because I do like bleach, but I, I didn't need it. <laughs> but it was cool to see. There's Naruto. That that that's not really my thing though. Then again, gotta check out the VHS tapes. And uh, this time, I actually found one that I wanted, that I was interested in. Here's a uh, Heathcliff VHS tape, and I used to love watching Heathcliff when I was a kid. And for 49 cents, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab that. I have room in my collection for that. And then here's something else that we see at Goodwill quite frequently: the uh, Wii Sports Pack stuff. They must have made those in the billions, it seems like.
And then here's a uh, kind of interesting old VHS camcorder, and I am kind of looking for a VHS camcorder. This isn't the one, because though, because I, I want to go film them all. I want to get permission to film them all, because you're going to need permission to walk in with a camera like this to film. But I want to film one on VHS, so um, hopefully I'll find one one day. And uh, here's a big old joystick, the F-15E Firehawk. That thing is huge. I don't need any more joysticks, but I love seeing this kind of stuff too. And it's uh, it's from Suncom. I have a couple of Suncom joysticks in my collection. This thing's pretty heavy. Oh, and then this thing, this receiver. This is another one of those, like, tempted to get it, but don't need it. But look at this thing, man. It's got switches and dials on it. And they're all super satisfying to, like, switch and turn, turn and dial. <laughs> Actually, I do like Panasonic stuff too, and this seemed like it was in, in reasonably good condition. And then right next to it was this uh, Panasonic uh, like tape player thing. Again, something I was super tempted to get, but I, I don't need another portable tape player. But this thing was like big and bulky, it was like a big brick. And in really good shape too. I love old electronics like this, this is one of the reasons why I go to Goodwill, is just to look at old stuff like this, even if I don't buy it. That's some cool stuff right there. And then uh, here's another really cool stereo system. This is a Sony like hi-fi stack, and there's a there's a receiver here, uh, graphic equalizer, dual tape deck. I think it's a five disc CD changer. All of this with the cabinet was 50 bucks total for all of it. And again, was kind of tempted to get it and did it, didn't get it. And then I was showing my wife, and she was like, "Why didn't you get that?" So I I may go back and. Uh, you know, see if it's there because it's pretty cool and if it works, I think it'd be worth 50 bucks. Now here's the uh, last Goodwill location for this video. And the first thing I saw when I walked in and looked at the cases were a bunch of uh, old comic books. There was a few expensive ones there in the case and then there was just a bunch of cheaper ones here in this box and I spent some time sifting through all of these and found some pretty interesting stuff. There's a lot of pretty old Marvel stuff in here, DC, Image, Dark Horse, pretty wide variety of stuff like Star Wars, comic books, Conan the Barbarian. Um, I actually grabbed these two. I grabbed this really old Silver Surfer and really old Incredible Hulk comic book. And um, on top of these, I grabbed a few others, but I'll show those at the end of the video because I actually grabbed them when I came back and just double checked the box again. And then um, over here, they had a lot of cassette tapes at this one, but nothing that I wanted. But I did have a good chuckle at this Raiders of the Pop Charts Part 2 cassette tape uh, from Ronco as seen on TV. I don't know if you guys remember Ronco, but yeah, I had a good laugh at that. And then I also found this uh, Joe Satriani surfing with the alien. And from what I could gather, this was um, some sort of silver surfer. A music CD that Joe Satriani did. I haven't had a chance to listen to this yet, but I, I will give it a listen. I actually did grab it. it. Seemed to be a lot of Silver Surfer stuff there between this and the comic books and stuff. And like I said, I'm a fan of Silver Surfer. And then over on to the uh, video games. Again, we got a lot of the usual suspects as far as Wii games and Xbox 360 games go. And then over here, there's a copy of Diablo 2. Don't need that because I have it, but pretty interesting to see that. But I did find a PlayStation 1 game that I don't have, WCW vs. The World. Now, I'm sure that's going to be a crapshoot whether or not it's going to be good, but it was 2 bucks, so I'm going to grab it and give it a shot. And uh, here's NFL Blitz. I'm sorry, that's NHL Blitz for the uh, GameCube. And I was tempted to get this. But, however, that's that's just a few more dollars than I want to spend on a, on a common sports title for the GameCube. So I put it back. Starting to see a lot of PlayStation 3 stuff um, up here at Goodwill now. Looks like somebody jumped off all their old PS3 sports games. Uh, GameStop probably offered them 50 cents for it and they just dumped them off at Goodwill instead. And then I found this over in the toys. This is The Hobbit on VHS, and I don't have this. And I am a fan of the movie, so 
Um, you know, after I saw that that's only 49 cents, definitely decided to grab that too. Have I have room in my small VHS collection for The Hobbit. And then here's something interesting, a Sony laser link. And this looks like it's something that you hook to your handy cam and it lets you wirelessly beam the footage over to a Sony television. And to be real honest with you, I, I'm more interested in that TV. I want that Sony CRT TV. And then I also found this uh, Atari joystick, like plug and play system. And that's not a bad price, five bucks for a brand new one, but it's not something I need. I, I need another plug and play system. Like I need a hole in my head, but this one had a decent selection of games, except for Warlock, Warlords. I, I question that without a paddle. And then uh, we'll wrap it up here with this really old Kenmore iron that I found. This thing is super old. I want to say antique almost. Look at how old that is. And it's in pretty good shape too for how old it is. I love seeing ancient stuff like this. Could you imagine ironing with this? Alright, here's my haul for this episode of Retail Relic Hunting at Goodwill. We have the close-up USA map set from National Geographic, which that was really cool to find, and I'm going to do some interesting stuff with that, I think. Got the Hobbit and Heathcliff on VHS. Also a Sega TV tuner. I forgot to mention that, but I grabbed that when I uh, grabbed Dragon Warrior 2. Some Xbox and PS1 games, including Vagrant Story, which I'm pretty excited about. And uh, this Call 3D and uh, Green Lantern comic books, those are the other ones that I grabbed that I didn't show earlier. And then again, the copy of Dragon Warrior 2, which I'm pretty sure is a former rental copy because it's got a Xerox map and uh, manual in there, and I love rental stuff. And like I mentioned, I got this game half off because it was half off day that day, but I also used my 20% off coupon that I get every month. You just have to go to Goodwill of Central and Northern Arizona's website, and again, I'll have a link in the description below. And you can sign up to get a monthly coupon in your email that's 20% off uh, purchases over 20 bucks. It's definitely a good deal, and you can save a lot of good, you know, a lot of money on cool games like that. But uh, anyways, guys, here's again, once again, my haul, and thanks for watching. Want to see your name here? Head on over to Patreon.com/RetailArchaeology to find out how you can help support the channel. Thanks again for checking out this episode of Retail Relic Hunting at Goodwill. If you enjoyed it, uh, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And also don't forget to follow at the social media links down below because that's the best way to keep up with what's going on with the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.